Hey friends, Tux here. I want to talk a little bit more about these COVID self-tests. People have recently been saying that the new Omicron variant is actually not as much in the nose as it is in the throat. And some people are saying that these can be used on the throat. And I know from my experience using these on the nose, it burns like crazy. It's like a Hall's mentholithus, like shoved up your nose. It's very, very weird feeling. And I cannot even imagine what this would feel like in your throat throat so you know what i'm gonna take one for the team here we're gonna try this self-test live on camera and we will see on the throat um i'll describe how it feels and if it makes you throw up or gag or whatever we'll see um but people are saying that the throat actually is a better specimen because this current omicron variant lives more in the throat than it does actually in the nose so anyway guys this is a kit which is available on amazon this is what it looks like um, i'll have a link for this right below i've used it before i have another video on it before so you know um i trust these kits they're not real expensive you know you can buy them uh, from amazon so they'll ship right to you which is really great and um, they seem to work as good as any other actual home test I would say that the lab tests are more thorough so if you have an opportunity to do that or if you think you actually need medical attention really badly I would say going to a doctor is probably the best way of doing it and have a real you know medical lab PCR test as opposed to a self test but uh, we know the lines are long you know and that this might be a good way to go just to self test and kind of see yourself all right let's go ahead and open this up Okay, got my scissors here. We'll go ahead and clip this here. Um, Amazon does seem to have these in stock. So if you do need a self-test for school, for travel, whatever, um, this is a pretty good test. Like it does seem to work as good as any other self-test. And the price isn't too bad too. So it's better. I've heard they raise the price of these um, self-tests at like Myers and uh, what other one, like Walmart or something. But these are still pretty uh, pretty reasonably priced on Amazon. Um, under 20 bucks, like, like 17 or 18 or something. So um, pretty good deal. Under 20 bucks, you get two tests which is really good. You can see there's little vials. In fact, I'll pull this out. I'll explain this a little bit um, for those who have never seen these before. Um, basically, you get two complete tests and it really takes about 15 minutes to get the results. So it doesn't really take a really super long time. Um, inside the test, you get uh, basically you get some instructions, which um, I've read these in my previous video, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it explains everything you need right in there, which is really good. I've actually gotten pretty good at these self-tests myself because I've been doing them for a while and um, we'll see what happens here today. I've been feeling a little off today so i don't know this might be positive we'll we'll find out together we're going to save one test for later okay so that's there and then you get two little actual test sticks and you get two of the little cotton swabs so you have two complete sets of everything you need to actually test yourself so pretty good deal Okay, so for this particular video, we'll go ahead and use one of our tests now. That's these three pieces here. And we have three more again for a later test. So you get two complete tests, one and two. Now the first step for these tests is basically the little cotton swab, which you can see is this piece right here. Okay, comes uh, nicely wrapped for you. Now you don't want to touch the end, okay? So don't touch that, just touch the stick. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Now this is the part that actually, when you stick this in your nose, you're supposed to go in pretty deep. If you've done this at a lab, uh, you know they really dig in there. They say it's about three fourths of an inch, but actually it's probably a little bit deeper. And there's really no liquid in here. You can see it's just, it's damp. There's chemicals here on the cotton swab. Um, but what we're gonna do differently this time is actually instead of sticking this in my nose, I'm gonna stick it in my throat, okay? And I'm gonna try and rub the inside of the cheek. And you don't have to go super deep, but um, rub the inside of the cheeks a little bit. And there could actually be COVID living in the throat, okay? So we're gonna test both the nose and the throat. I'll do the throat first. I wanna tell you guys what I feel here because I don't know what to expect. Like, when you stick this thing in your nose, it burns like crazy. So we're going to find out here together on camera. And I'm going to pull this out. And that's what that looks like right there. Okay. And I'm going to do this kind of <laughs> on camera. But I'm not going to be on camera. But I'm going to give you my reaction to how this tastes or whatever. So um, let me go ahead and I'll hold this up here as I stick this in and tell you how this feels. So uh, here goes nothing. Um, <laughs> I'm a little scared. Here goes. Okay. Ah. Uh, yuck. Oh my god oh okay um it, it made me gag there you probably heard that um it you don't taste anything like it does not taste like it does in your nose but um, i'm gonna use the same one here you can see it's a little little damper a little wetter here probably from my throat okay but now i'm gonna test my nose as well so i'm gonna stick this in my nose um up about three fourths of an inch and uh try and get a good sample from nostril one the right one and then nostril two the left one all right here goes here goes nothing Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, that burns so bad. All right, I just got the right one done. Now, now, we're gonna... <coughs> we're gonna have to do the left one, and this burns so bad. I'm, I'm gonna do the left one here. Here goes nothing. Here's the left, the left nostril. I'm gonna do this one now. Here goes. Wow, oh, ow, ow. Oh my gosh, that burns so much in your nose, man. It feels like a hull's shoved deep in your nose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Next up, okay, you see we got a lot of stuff on there. Oh my God, kind of gross. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and pull, pull off the, we gotta make sure this is like tapped real good. Okay, we're gonna pull off the top one here, okay? We're gonna pull this off, put this down. And now we are gonna go ahead and stick this into here. Okay, we're gonna stick it in and we're gonna swirl it around. Okay, so we're swirling it around real good. We're getting the, the Q-tip part here mixed in with the bottom part. There's a little chemical in here at the bottom. So we're gonna swirl this around, give it plenty of swirls, swirl it left, swirl it right. Make sure it's good and mixed up. Plenty of opportunity for the chemicals to mix, okay? Now what we wanna do is we wanna squeeze it a little bit because we don't want anything left on the Q-tip, okay? So we wanna get all that specimen actually in the bottom here, okay? So give that plenty of swirls, left, right a little bit more, left a little bit more, right a little bit more. All right, I think we got it good, good to mix up, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and squeeze this, just pinch the tube just a little bit, okay? Just so you're getting all the liquid in the tube and not on the Q-tip. So we're gonna try and kind of get as much off the Q-tip as possible. So we're pulling this, I'm squeezing kind of tight here. Very good. My eyes am having to shut while I'm doing this because honestly, like uh, my eyes are watering so bad from that thing being in my nose. It's weird that it doesn't really affect your throat. Like in your throat, you don't feel it at all. But in your nose, man, you sure, you sure as heck feel that, my God. It burns so bad. All right, so here, I'm gonna pull it out now. One last little squeeze real tight and pull it out. Okay, I think I got all the as much out as I can. So now I'm gonna do is tap this a few times. Make sure we got all the liquid in the tube. Okay, and now what I wanna do is I want to put this cap back on real quickly. Okay, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna leave this aside for right now. Okay, and sealed up nice and tight. And this we're gonna stick back in our little container here just to keep it so it doesn't infect anything else. Okay, so that goes back into here. That's your way of disposing of this. You can throw it away just like that. All right, next up is the test. Okay, so here's the test. We're gonna rip this open here. And I've gotten pretty good at these. Here's your little test. Uh, one line is for control. That means that the test worked. Two lines means you're positive, okay? And what you wanna do is put three drops, three drops right there. One, two, three drops right in that side. And there's your control line, your test line. So here's what we're gonna do. My eyes are watering so bad right now. Oh my gosh, my nose is watering, my eyes is watering. It's pretty bad, pretty intense. All right, so now we're gonna give this a couple little swirls here. Okay, and we're gonna pull off the, the top part the white part just like that okay so there we go and we're gonna put three drops in here so here goes put this down here here goes one oh, that's really slimy man two oh my eyes are watering so bad and three okay so that's pretty good now this is gonna take about 15 minutes to actually go and do the test so the, the liquid's gonna kind of start going down here I'm gonna put the cap back on this real quick let me just drop this down just for a second here Okay, so the cap is going back on here just to keep this all good. Yeah, and if you wanted to add a little extra, like an extra fourth drop or whatever, it probably wouldn't really do any harm. Either it's positive or it's negative, but an extra like drop or two is not really going to change the outcome too much. I'm going to blow my nose here off camera. Okay, so you can see here, there's still a lot of liquid right in there. You can see that's really full, you know, so little by little it's going in. You can kind of see where the liquid is kind of going across the test here, and eventually we'll start seeing a line in that control that by that C. And that means basically the test worked if you see the line. If you see no line at all, then that means the test, something went wrong, okay? But we'll start seeing a line pretty quickly here. And the, again, the test takes about 15 minutes. So we'll let this sit for a little bit, and we'll see what happens here. I kind of recommend using like a watch or something. So what we can do, just you know, go on your smartphone, 
find like a little timer program or whatever. Here's clock. We'll do stopwatch, reset, and start. And we'll just kind of get that to 15. So we'll just let that go for a little bit. And I'll see you back in 15 minutes. Okay, so we actually gave it a little bit of extra time. I gave it 16 minutes just to make sure, okay? And here it is, guys, and it is a negative. Of course, you can see the control line is aligned with the C. That means the test worked. And if it was positive, there would be two lines. There would be a line by the letter T, okay, showing that it was positive for COVID. So this test is a negative test, so I'm happy to report that. And I have to say, after 15 minutes or so, uh, my nose and throat are just fine. Um, I don't regret sticking it in my throat. I really don't feel anything special except for the, the gagging. And it kind of makes me feel good knowing I tried that because they're saying a lot of people are getting negative results from the nose, but when they stick it in the throat, they get a positive. So of course, this is something which you may consider doing, you know, be sure to check with the doctor and you know decide if it's something you want to do yourself or not. But either way, I would definitely recommend this self-test. Again, I do have a link for this test right below. So be sure and click that link get tested at least that way you'll know if you're negative like me today okay so definitely check it out guys um these are available from amazon they're great little kits um not real expensive you get two of them um at the time i'm making this video is under 20 bucks so it's a really good value i think and it's just it gives you that peace of mind knowing that you're negative okay plus the fact you don't have to wait in long lines and be around other sick people to get the test it's so worth it guys Click the link, get tested, all right? And consider sticking it down your throat. It might just be the difference between a positive and a negative, okay? But do your research before you do it, okay? All right, friends, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.